down till 100 and you hide. If we catch you, you lose. And what if we catch you? Haha, <laughs> then we will lose. Hey guys, what game is this? Indians and Cowboys. I'm with you. I will be an Indian named Ethan Chip Loudbeep. And I... Who said you could play with us? Have you ever seen an Indian with glasses? <laughs> George, that's right. An Indian cannot wear glasses. Yes, I know that. Wait, I've got an idea. I know how to beat the pale faces. That's a great idea. We're moving. Can't run from us. Indians do not give up. Oh, oh, ouch, 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 oh. ouch. Oh, George, how are you doing? I'm sad. You're playing, huh? Um, we're playing. I need to be at the old depot in five minutes, but I spun my wheel. If the cowboys catch me, then the Indians lose. What now? He ran away. Where can we find him? Shh. I think I've already found him. You to the right. You to the left. Let's catch him. Give up, red face. You're trapped. How can I be a red face? Have you ever seen an Indian with glasses? Hey, pale faces, give up! You are surrounded! That's not fair. You're cheating. No, we played fair. It's called a military trick. Well, that means we've lost the game. George, you did a great job. We could have never won without your help. You look like a real Indian. Come on, how can I be an Indian? And you will call me the glass eye? The real Indian is not the one with a feather on his head, but the one who's a friend indeed. And we will call you the brave heart. an awesome idea. Are you sure it's awesome? Mm -hmm. Ready! Done, but there are too many sails. The more, the better. The weather is bad. Ethan, remove the sails. A storm is coming. I'm not afraid. I have eh, 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 anchors. Ah, oh, George, help me. How creative 
Ethan is. That's cool. I want to do that. George, are you waiting for your turn? What is this circus? Huh? Circus? Coming to our city? They say we'll have a circus. Come see it and I'll be there. It's always a circus around here without an actual circus. Oh, I've had a headache since morning. I'm just sure it's going to rain. Why are you always in a hurry, Ethan? I'm not! I just can't stop! I'm trying, but I can't stop it. My brakes are very old. Grandpa, Billy, and Ethan work in a circus? Eitan, go to Mr. Clockface. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, thank you, Mr. Clockface. You're welcome. Just tell me what that was. Hey, will there be other races? Why don't you ask the policeman? Adults never let children take part in races, but they race themselves. Now, do you understand your mistake? The sails were too big? Of course, we'll make them smaller next time. And we will repair my brakes and... Uh... There will be no next time. Oh, really? I can't believe my ears. I don't think it's interesting being a ship. But being a plane... I would love to explore this better. Guys, I have an idea. A long, long time ago, my scientist grandfather used to have an experimental reducer. I guess that's it. Let's see how it works. Hmm, then see you in your garage in the evening. Come, Come on, on, enlarge, enlarge it, quickly. it quickly. All changes occur with the help of an invisible magnetic field and a very powerful electric current, which will be enough for our city. That's why... What's going on? We are getting smaller! George, you told us it was a magnifier, but in fact, it was a reducer. <laughs> We're lost! <laughs> no one will find us! The reducer works with the red crystal, and the magnifier works with the blue one. We might have lost it on our way. Let's go find it. We have two hours to find the crystal, otherwise we cannot return to our previous proportions, the book says. What an amazing world, right next to us. Hmm, and we didn't even know it. Oh, let's go there. That's our crystal. How shall we get there? Oh no, it doesn't work. 
Being small does not mean being uninventive. Just don't drop the crystal. We need it unscathed. Oi! Ethan, be careful! Oh, wow! <laughs> Ethan, come on! It will be dark soon! It's so heavy! Do you think it's easy to be small? <gasps> oh, that's just a leaf. Being small is scary. We must return soon or we'll stay small forever. It's ready. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. And we didn't even have time to explore the ship. Finally, it's ready. I can imagine how surprised those heroes will be. Professor G, Red Arrow, and Super Sergeant when they see my invention. I'm curious about what's going on here. Oh, wow. That's super powerful. Yes, Super Sergeant, you're right. That's the most powerful train in our city. We'll see about that, guys. Really? And how? <laughs> we will compete! Ha <laughs> Deal! The winner, that means me, will get all the glory in Train City. Well, guys... I have some special plan on how to win the lightning train. Turn on! Wrong measurements. And he was wrong in that. Professor, you always have wrong measurements and details. I'm sick and tired of it. But the competition is tomorrow. Let's continue our training. Dear friends, Professor G's and Lightning Train's team compete today. Let's see who the winner is. I guess Super Sergeant has to say goodbye to his title of the strongest train of Train City. Come on! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey guys! Maybe you want to give up now. No way. We'll fight till the end. Start! Hey, Professor, admit your defeat. The competition isn't over yet. I guess my robot is not only the strongest, but also the smartest. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> well, this is the end. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? That 
It's impossible. But how? Maybe he's the strongest and the fastest, but not the smartest for sure. Professor, I want to apologize for not trusting you. Is that a mushroom on you? <laughs> That's not a mushroom, but my new invention, Umbrella for Friends. You will get wet under that invention. I'm curious, where's the rain? Rain, rain, rain. When friends get under the umbrella, it increases in size. You can hide here too. There's enough space for us all. <gasps> I always hiccup when I'm surprised. <gasps> that was really, really cool. Even Arnold started to hiccup. <gasps> Come on, Arnold. You infected me with hiccups. Lightning is a very powerful discharge of electricity, and unmanageable electricity is very dangerous. And very harmful. I once licked a battery and lost my appetite. And once a big hailstone fell on my head, and it was the size of a football. And you lost your appetite, right? No, I didn't lose anything. In fact, I got something. A big bump on my forehead. <laughs> uh, who will reach the rainbow first? I'll be the first. Sam Sparky the Rocket. <laughs> It's so interesting how it feels. Well, the rainbow is next to my house, right? It means the rainbow is mine. Wait, wait. Arnold's rainbow, do not enter. Arnold, what's this? What? There's only one rainbow, and a lot of us. And now, there is dust all over my rainbow. I have to wash it. The rainbow belongs to everyone, not just to you. Like the air and the sunshine. I'm sorry, guys. Ethan, I got you. <laughs> no, Arnold. That's just a stump. I'm here. Oh, I, uh, who's that? Another stump? And just who do you think you are calling a stump? <laughs> Ha 
Grandpa Billy, I won't do that again. <sighs> Guys, Grandpa Billy was chasing me in my dream with a watering can. <laughs> and he caught you? No, I woke up. It's interesting how Grandpa Billy splashes and grumbles all the time, and everyone still loves and respects him. But why? I think because he splashes and grumbles, and he is very rusty. That means we should get rusty if we want to be loved and respected? How rusty should we get for respect? We've been sitting in the water for an hour. Hey, kids! Have you seen my umbrella? It flew away! Or the general! I lost him! <sighs> That's it. I'm Rusty. Do you respect me, Mrs. Dove? If you see the umbrella, tell him that I'm looking for him. And if you find the general, hang him on the fence to let it dry. The rust isn't enough. We have to splash and grumble, I guess. A pink umbrella and a green general are lost. If found, return to Mrs. Dove. Oh, my favorite umbrella. Where are you now? Ethan, come on, grumble. I don't know how to, but I'll try. Bo 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 What? This is enough. Do you love and respect us now? I will show you love and respect when I catch you! It's a lovely day. It's quiet. Miss Dove, wait, your umbrella. <sighs> what do you think? <sighs> do they love and respect us after this? <sighs> I'm not sure about that. It's dangerous to play in the street. The policemen will be angry. <laughs> What's wrong? You hurry like there's a fire somewhere. Miss Dove's house is on fire. <laughs> Give my hose back. You can unroll that thing, and we will go to save Mrs. Dove. Mrs. Dove is on fire. Yeah, and she smells so delicious. We 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 thought your house is burning. I bought some fresh coal, and now I'm making a very tasty barbecue. Ethan, try it. Is it ready yet or not? Thanks. Yeah. 
I, I need another piece. May I have it? What's burning here? I wanted to say the barbecue was delicious. Thank you. Enjoy it. Let's make the barbecue for ourselves. I'm so tired of homemade food. Follow me. I know where to get the best coals. Don't you think the, the coal we have picked is too big? No, they aren't. They'll be good. I know it for sure. What is that flat iron thing? And where are we going to cook our food? Ah, I guess we'll have to cut it. Ah! Be careful! Ooh. Ah! You know, I don't think I want to eat that delicious barbecue anymore. I don't want either. It became so firm. You know, I would love to have some homemade food. Mom, do we have something to eat? Ethan, I'm happy you came. I bought some coal. Will you help me make the barbecue? Barbecue, huh? Delicious, huh? <gasps> Guys, let's have a rest. My wheels are falling off. Fine, we'll stop for a moment. Is it too far, guys? First, we should reach the big oak. Then, we'll cross the humpback bridge. We go around the thorn bushes, and we are in the flower field. No way! That's gonna take forever. I know the shortest way. Who's coming? You are lucky to have me. We'll be in the field in five minutes, and it will take them half a day to get there. Oh, did you fall into a swamp? Are you afraid? It's not too deep. Come on, follow me! Hi! Oi! How long should I wait for you? Wait! I can't see anything at all! I can't see either! Calm down, no need to panic! When you're going straight, never look back! Uh -huh. Look where you're falling! I couldn't see at all! How are we gonna get out of here? That's easy! I'll show you how to do that! What are you staring at? Push me, quickly! Boy! Boy! Ah, 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 ah. You're such weaklings! I shouldn't have come with you. What now? Maybe we can go that way. Oi. Oh, 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 oh. Fantastic! Why did you get us in these thorns? Me? But you told us yourself that we should 
should only go straight forward. It doesn't matter. You should make your own decisions. I it will take us a year to reach the field. So beautiful, what an amazing field. This is the most beautiful place I've ever been to. I'm so happy we came here, guys. Oh, monsters, run! Where do you see monsters? That's us. Sam Sparky? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You took the shortest road. <laughs> Well, now you know that the straight road is not always the shortest. And the long road can be so beautiful that you forget about your tiredness and time. The goal of our squad is to keep this height. Oi! The squad? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, uh. Ha. Hey. Did you catch them? Sam Sparky's squad is here. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Just leave me here. I can't climb up this terrible hill anymore. Then why are you carrying so much food? Yeah, that's too much. I need to eat a little bit, and then I'll have less food to carry. Finch, Finch, how do you hear me? It's Sparrow. Hello? 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 I can't hear anything. You just need to knock on it very carefully, like this. Sparrow, it's Finch. I'm leaving. Please wait for me. Usually, when the commander appears, everybody screams, Hooray! 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 Sam Sparky is flying! Oh, I almost forgot! Hooray! 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 Sam Sparky flew away. I am the captain now. Hooray! 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 A tiny cone fell onto George's head, and now he has a tiny bump on his forehead! I'm not George anymore. I am Commander. Oi! A cone fell down. That's strange. A lot of cones fell on me today. And Ethan. Sparky. Ethan and George will pounce on the canned food, and we will catch them. I don't want to pick mushrooms anymore. I want to pick canned food. Let's go. We got you, we got you, we got you. Arnold, why are you wearing my cap? Yeah, that's a funny story. 
Do you want to try on my cap? Subscribe and watch the new episodes.